I have a solution to the 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 tank meta. Um, I see videos about people or by people who are playing their PTS, and they are saying that uh, people are not dying, and that's going to be a problem in the next patch. I have a solution to that, and I know this may not be a popular solution, but this is just what I'm thinking because it's always been a problem, uh, and it's something that PVP players. For those who don't really care about the actual character, but just you know, just build characters to win, this is something that they use often, and that is Vampire Stage Three. Now, I believe giving people across the board an additional 10 or whatever, somewhere around that percentage of damage mitigation, won't break the game. But add that on top of undeath, and then you're talking about people not dying, and on and prior as well mark of the pariah so you're adding people who are wearing pariah in vampire 3 saying that people are not dying well there's no wonder people are not dying so the solution is to cut back on the damage mitigation that the undeath passive gives passive gives you uh, maybe you can even reduce the amount of armor that pariah gives you as well so that it's not the battle spirit that's going to be the problem it's things that are already in the game that have been a problem for a long time and undeath has always been a problem so um i know people are going to defend undeath and defend pariah but there's a reason why so many um so many pvp players rely on the on those things so much it's a there's a reason why whenever um, the, I guess damage gets high. People run to those sets. You see it. Um, you see prior. I'm on, on almost every build, and and you see Vampire Three on almost every build. That is the issue, not the extra damage mitigation that we're going to get, because this extra damage mitigation is going to benefit those people who are being one shot and two shot the most. This is going to give them a chance to hang in there longer and be able to um, stay alive basically those those builds who were built not to die are still not going to die they're just going to be better even better at not dying and those builds are using vampire 3 and pariah so like i said it's not going to be a popular solution but in my opinion this is the solution and this is the best way to go about fixing the the tank meta if we are truly about to enter into another tank meta give it some thought and and you know like it's one of those things where it's like it's the it's the, not the sacred cow but you get what i mean it's that thing that people are like oh well i'm willing to do whatever it takes to fix the tank meta but not that that's going too far you know uh but <laughs> it, it's such a blatant and obvious point of, of of trouble in my opinion it is so glaring that I wonder how anybody could possibly miss the the real problem that PvP has and that is just again vampire 3 undeath passive and pariah so deal with those and I believe the so-called tank meta won't be um so bad i, I want to give us all some credit they're trying and but the, what they're trying to do is they're trying to bring fixes into the game that won't um anger people the most and i think they're they're trying to avoid nerfing things that need to be nerfed so even i, I see a lot of people give zoss crap and sometimes i, I give zoss crap as well but in my opinion they are in a situation where they are they're causing themselves more trouble by not doing what obviously needs to be done and the and the solution that they have is not bad in itself giving everybody 10 percent or um around 10 percent more damage mitigation but it will be bad if they don't get rid of those other things that i mentioned like vampire 3 and, and pariah not get rid of them but severely 
cut back on their damage mitigation for um for vampire 3 i would say 10 percent damage mitigation at the max from vampire stage 3 undeath passive 30 percent is crazy that's you know old major protection and that stacks with major protection on top of that you have to understand like you can stack minor protection major protection and vampire undeath passive so if if, if there's a fix to this that's it do something about the vampire undeath passive okay i'm sure i beat that into the ground i hope and i hope and i hope zas listens to this so thank you all for watching and listening